I never think did. It's thinking of, so I, dangerous. I, I did, mm -hmm. you know, and I never had an incident like yeah. that. But you stuff goes through your head. And my mom grew up in Michigan. She yeah. said they would go skating on the ponds. Oh, all they drive the time. it all. Yeah, the time. they drive on the lakes up north because the ice gets to be a foot thick, and you can drive on it. Yep. you can walk on it if it's a few inches thick. That's in Missouri. It's not cold enough, long enough, usually, yeah. to yeah, support the weight of a human being, much less any kind of vehicle. Mm. Yeah, I mentioned that we were on the warm side, the severe weather side of that system that came through right. yesterday. 70s. Up north, they had blizzard conditions. And oh. when we talk about snow, we're talking about snow. Check out these snowfall accumulation amounts from yesterday. Groundhog Day. Oh yeah, the little rat said it was going to be spring. That's I one day? That's the, one day. This is from rat. yesterday. <laughs> this is from Nebraska, South Dakota, Iowa, Kansas, up in the Minnesota. The big winner? 18.3 inches of snow in Grand Island, Nebraska, just down I-80 in Kearney. They got 18 inches of snow. That's a foot and a half of snow out of one storm, and it was windy as well. So that stuff was blowing around everywhere. Even Minneapolis got 10 inches of snow. I showed that picture on Facebook from earlier of the backyard weather set at uh, NBC affiliate in Minneapolis, which is just buried in drifting snow. So that's what they had. We had the rain, the potential for severe weather. Things fortunately worked out just right for us to be able to dodge that severe weather potential. We had some rain that moved up yesterday evening. A couple of warnings associated with that. Fortunately, very little damage, but that took a lot of energy out of the atmosphere before the main line of storms moved in from the west last night into the very early hours this morning. And that continues to move through east Tennessee, northwestern Georgia, down into Alabama losing some of its punch, so there aren't any warnings associated with this right now. The last of the watches have been allowed to expire, and even that rain is getting off the Cumberland Plateau as we speak. Let's zoom in more closely. We'll show you what's happening right now in northeastern Middle Tennessee, where the rain is really tapering off even along the northern half of the Cumberland Plateau. The steadier rain towards Cumberland County, down into eastern Van Buren County, eastern Grundy County, and eastern Franklin County. So really, just the last fringes of that rain are now moving out of the Channel 4 viewing area. And the rest of us are drying out, even clearing out in spots. Take a look outside from the Weatherbug Network. We're even seeing clear enough conditions for a little bit of fog to develop near ground level in our usual foggy spot here in Smith County. Skies cleared out over Nashville, but that's not permanent for this morning. As the puddles evaporate, that adds a little bit of moisture to the atmosphere, so the clouds will fill back in, and then they'll break back up as we head into the afternoon. Temperatures right now mostly low to mid-50s, a little chillier farther west, mid-40s in Murray and Paris. These temperatures aren't going to change a whole lot as we head through the rest of the day, but it is going to be a cooler weather pattern for the next few days. High temperature this afternoon of 55. Tomorrow it's going to be a little cooler, 44 degrees. One day of below average temperatures before we warm back up into the 50s. Check out these other readings around the region though. They're going to still be in the 80s in Jacksonville and down towards Orlando as well. So that warmer air gradually being pushed farther and farther off to the southeast, but it's kind of a gradual process. Quick check of future cash shows the rain continuing to move away from us as we head through the rest of today and into tonight as well. The little batch of clouds tries to slide in, but it doesn't produce any precipitation. And even those clouds are going to move off to the east tomorrow. And while we have those cooler temperatures, it's not going to be a bad day by any stretch. And it looks pretty nice as we head through most of the weekend. But there is going to be a pattern shift as we head into early next week. Colder air is going to move into the eastern half of the country once again. While most of the moisture looks like it's going to impact the northeastern U.S., it's going to be close enough to us. We have a chance for some rain snow showers in the forecast as early as Sunday night, more likely on Monday as the temperatures drop, and then maybe cold enough for all snow showers Monday night into Tuesday. But that's the far tail end of the seven day forecast. We got a long way to go before we get there, and it does include a nice weekend as well. Low to mid 50s for high temperatures Saturday and Sunday looks dry during the day Sunday. That chance of showers won't move in until very late Sunday night. Of course, you